Hey guys, welcome back. We get another big unboxing for you today. Today, George, one of my teammates, went out and he bought one, two, three boxes of the Legendary Duelist's Rage of Raw because he said, we need to try to pull that Ghost Rare, boy. All right, so let's do that. And he wants me to also mention uh, maybe an I'm sorry to the other player. Sorry, not sorry. Um, somebody who was actually on their way to the card shop, our locals, to pick one of these up. And they didn't put it on hold, so he went ahead and bought it up anyway. Swiper no swiping door, wasn't around to stop it. So since we have 108 packs today, um, I'm going to, for the most part, shut up and only show you guys the rares and not worry about fanboying over certain things. So we're just going to go through the packs like this and go, okay, Sun God Unification and Machiora the Destructor. We'll put those there, and we're just going to toss commons back in one of the boxes. So we do want to see the Ghost Rare. If we don't see the Ghost Rare, we do want to see a lot of the support for it. Here's an Everlasting Alloy. And uh, my boy is definitely excited for Jinzo because he's always liked it. Sort of like a Hannibal Lecter looking monster with the whole face mask deal. And he's been a pretty cool card ever since release. Boom, there we go. Blaze Cannon and Wild Monster appears. So three packs in, we've already got... Uh, two supers or better and a lot of it is going my way for the Winged Dragon of Raw. Hopefully I can bring you guys a good uh, god deck profile. Let's see what else we get here. Here's a uh, Mech Lord Astro the Eradicator trap. Let's see another Mech Lord Astro. Surprisingly, my kitties are being super well behaved today. There we go, reactor slime. Very cool. Another reactor slime. You know, you guys can say something if you want. You don't have to just stare at me while I do this. I'm not talking to the viewers. I'm talking to my friends sitting here watching me. Making dead fish eyes at me. So we got Psychic Mega Cyber and Mechloid Army Deployer Obligato is our super this pack. Steve, are you going to play these Mechlords? Maybe. It's nice that they're out instead of just once per month in the Shonen Jump. Yeah, and they're all in here. Most of it is a nice common setup, so a budget player can easily get their hands on a lot of it. Here we go, another Cyber Energy Shock. Oh, this is going to be tiring. Ooh, the true name and Wild Monster appears. So another good card, and of course, that's going to work for our Divine Monsters. That's going to be for the gods. And there's a Mech Lord Deflection. So here we go. Ooh, boom. Mechlord Nucleus Infinity Core and another Astro. <laughs> here we go. We got another Machior the Destructor. Good to see him get a nice reprint, especially since they gave him that a rat and brought him back. We got the White Aura Bihomet, some sort of fish synchro. We'll take a look at that later. There we go, Law of the Cosmos. Looks like your Jinzo is getting all the support he's going to need there, George. And there's another Everlasting Alloy. Almost threw that into the box with the commons. And there's another Mound of the Bound Creator. And 
And another Jinzo spell, the Cosmos Channeling. And Mechlord Deflection. We're about halfway through the first of these three. Two and a half to go. There's our Psychic Bounder for the Jinzo, as well as the Wild Monster Appears. So it looks like George is really going to be kicking me in with that. Mechlord Astro Dragon Triskelion. I didn't even realize this guy was part of the set, and he's a nice little ultra rare there. So that's cool. I guess it was one more, guys. I missed up. That's what I get for not looking up a spoiler list. There we go, another Machiora. Mechlord Assembly, super rare spell. And the Psychic Mega Cyber. Still no Ghost Rare. Another Mound of the Bound. And Mechlord Deflection. And Wild Monster appears. And Cosmos Channeling. Approximately enough Monster Reborns to outfit a small card shop. So that's cool. Cyber Energy Shock. This one feels thicker. Maybe that's something. Of course, that doesn't usually matter. Nope. Reactor Slime. Mechlord Deployer Obligato again. Looks like we're down to the last five of the first box. And there's Jinzo the Machine Menace in all of his ultra rare splendor and glory. So I can already hear George in his head. Yay, machine death for all. And another Mound of the Bound. And that Mech Lord Astro. Jinzo and Lord in the same pack. Reactor Slime is our rare. Let's just skip to the back of that. One more Cosmos Channeling. So first box, no ghost. Never fear. Box number two is here. Kids just stop fighting and let it happen. So real quick, I'm just going to take the box of commons and get our Second box ready. And just keep going. Normally I don't have to open this many packs in a row. So I can really feel the carpal tunnel, set in, uh, carpal tunnel setting in. But it's worth it if we get the cards we need. And it's fun for you guys, I hope. There's Millennium Revelation. Nice little god card spell. And another Mound of the Bound. I'm going to reposition these boosters because I put them way too close to the camera. And I don't want to smack that again because... Yeah. No, this is one thing the card guard can't protect, but Cosmos Channeling. Everlasting Alloy. And I threw a pack right into the garbage can. That was awesome. Deflection. Maybe that maybe that throwing away pack is something good. Let's see. 
to dodge off to grab that real quick. Nah, it's just Machiora. We could have thrown him back in there. There he goes. What he gets for being the destructor. Another Mechlord Astro. <laughs> My friend is now Mech fishing the card out. <laughs> All right, we get another Nucleus Infinity Core and another Mechlord Deflection. And I'm trying to open this pack entirely wrong. Feel free to make fun of me in the comments section down below. Be hilarious. Boom! There's Guardian Slime number two for me. First one for this box video. And then, of course, Everlasting Alloy because, you know, it lasts so long, you're just going to keep pulling them. Let's see what else we get. Oh, geez. Back to back Ultras. Here's another Jinza the Machine Menace, along with a Wild Monster Appears. So now that's two, two Jinzos and one of the uh, Psychic Bounder for this box. Opening video. Here's another Reactor Slime. And Psychic Mega Cyber. And Wild Monster appears. I'd say we've roughly pulled almost every card in the set so far. We've yet to see a Winged Dragon of Raw today. But I'm sure that's due to change here soon. Um, seen quite a bit of the uh, Jinzo support, actually. There's another Reactor Slime. Enough Reactor Slimes. You guys can play all the Ancient Egyptian God cards. Or maybe just use it for Link. I don't know. There's another Obligato with a Psychic Mega Cyber. Mechlord's really seeing some of the love today. Another Mound of the Bound. And we're about, we're about halfway done here with the second box. I think we're making good time. And there's another copy of the Blaze Cannon Ultra Rare Spell for the Winged Dragon, as well as another Wild Monster Appears. So I haven't seen Ancient Chant yet, and this would be the third box I've personally opened. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see it in triplicate, or even another of the uh, God Slime. Just because, since I play more casual and those are the deck videos I try to bring you guys... More of that play with your friends, go to locals with it type of deck lists. I would like to see enough of the base support to uh, be able to pull off god card plays a lot easier. Especially since Sacred Beasts got a whole structure deck that made them so easy to play. There's another Mechlord Assembly Super Rare. And if you guys want, I'm sure it's a little past expiration, but... I can always throw my Sacred Beast deck back together and give you guys a profile for it if you want. I'm sure it's the same as most people here on YouTube, though. I mean, it's been out. I think it's probably been played out. Unless something new appears, I probably won't uh, won't do that for some time. I'll let it. I'll let enough time go by, then I'll make the list. There we go, Mech Lord Emperor Wissel. Synchro Absorption, super rare. So it's only like 108 packs I gotta power through here. Luckily we're about half done with it. There's another Cyber Energy Shock. Come on, Rob, where are you hiding? There's another reactor slime. The other thing that gets me is these duelist packs are closer to the original Japanese size, being uh, five cards in a pack. There we go. Mech Lord Astro Dragon Triskelion again. Another ultra rare for the uh, stack. But uh, 
even with these uh, packs only being five cards, you still get a majority of the set rather quickly. And there's another Psychic Bounder. Just follow that up. And Mound of the Bound. Three more for this portion. Yeah, three. I think we're due for one more super or better here, but I may have just lost track. Nope, there it is. Sun God Unification, super rare. Last pack, second box. Oh, cool. Another ultra rare. Another copy of the White Aura by Hamet. And Steve, I'm going to go ahead and hand this one to you, bud. Alright. So that's box two completed. Two down, one to go. Yep. Nice box. And this is the box the other player wasn't going to be able to pick up. Because again, George was feeling tragically malicious. And went ahead and just picked it up too. So remember guys, if you're going to the card shop and you don't want somebody else who's making content to get your cards, definitely ask for that to be put on hold. George, you're going to get me cancelled for making too many jokes. Got another Mechlord Assembly spell. Very cool. And there's a third copy of Arjunzo the Machine Menace. So no matter what, George, I'd say that you did well. Looks like you got just about every Jinzo card you're going to need. And I still have some from the first box opening I did on this channel. So let me know. You got more than enough Mac yours too, bud. Steve's gonna be happy for that one. Well, Steve's happy for everything. He'll be happy when the Charmers deck comes out. That'll be cool. I know, right? You've been piecing that together since those cards started coming out because you thought that they had a cool look to them. Back when the Lost Millennium touchdown. Oh, that's been forever. Now, was that before or after Ancient Gear? started coming out or was that the that was, same time that was the same time you had ancient gear elemental hero didn't the elemental heroes come out in a set right before that it wasn't ast right before lost millennium um maybe some reason i thought they came out in lost millennium no i'm not saying that they didn't i'm just i thought some of them came out right beforehand well, the reactor slime Look, we can argue about it, and we'll just look it up later. It's fine. Pretty much. <laughs> All right, another Millennium Revelation Super Rare Spell card. Still no Ancient Chant. Still no Ghost Rare. More than enough mock yours. I think there's already been three or four in this this box alone. Ooh, Law of the Cosmos. It's gonna be great for Jinzo. Another copy of the Blaze Cannon spell card. I still think that's weird. It's considered a Blaze Accelerator card. 
I wonder if that makes it more searchable or not. This one feels thick. Come on, Ghost Rare. Nope. That one tore terribly. And there's another copy of Emperor Wissell as a super. Of course, I'm not sure. Do these uh, do the new Mac Lords make this operate less against the uh, synchros, or is it supposed to be still just versus synchro? Because it's going to be tough to play right now. All the other extra deck types. Another Blaze Cannon. No shortage of those today. Another Mech Lord Assembly. I'd be happy even with just one more Ancient Egyptian God Slime. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see that pop out of here. The true name. Again, this pack feels thick, but I, I don't think that... That hasn't meant anything all day, so. Doesn't still. Winding down now. Got about another 10 to go or so. Another Sun God Unification. Another alloy. Nope. Okay, so nothing there. See, this one feels thick too, but every time I say that, it's just one regular rare in there, so. Ah, and this one's got the white aura by Hamid again. So here's our. Probably our last ultra rare for the boxes. Ah, another psychic bounder. Looks like we got a play set of that came out. And the last pack we got for the day. And just a mound of the bound creator. So we didn't get any wing dragon of raw. We got some support. It looks like we got more than enough to play Jinzo though. Is we got the, uh, the Psychic Bounders, got the Sun God Unifications, enough stuff to play some Mech Lords fairly well. Um, but I, I'm going to guess that this means that uh, Wing Dragon of Raw, even out of here, might be considered a short print. So maybe I should just be lucky I pulled that new art yesterday, or whenever I did that box opening. Sometimes I film these ahead of time, guys. You'll have to forgive me. But uh, those were our supers and better. So, we'll get to making some decks. We'll probably build Jinzo first. Hope to have a profile out for that pretty soon here. We'll see you guys later. Peace.